Hi everyone, and welcome to Math N1A. My name is Lavrit Sangha, but please feel free to call me Lavrit. I like to go by my first name. In this video, I'll be talking a bit about my background, how our course is going to be structured, and tips I have on how to do well in our class. So let me start with my background. I am originally from the Bay Area. I grew up in a town called Danville, which is about 25 to 30 miles away from Berkeley. And I went to Berkeley as an undergrad. So it's very exciting for me to be back and teaching. Um, I studied math while I was there. And afterwards, I continued studying math. I got my master's and my PhD. And then I got into teaching full time. So I spent a year at the University of Kentucky. After that, I moved back to the Bay Area. And I've been teaching at Santa Clara University full time. Uh, for the past few summers, I've taught classes at Berkeley. So I'm very excited to be back. How is our class going to be structured? Classes are 110 minutes long. For the first 60 minutes, we'll have a lecture where I'll present the day's lesson. Then we'll take a short break. And for the remaining 45 minutes, we'll have discussion, which is an opportunity for you to try practice problems. I'll post videos of our lectures and discussions. That way, if you're unable to make a class, you'll be able to stay caught up. We'll have homework due twice a week. And that'll be turned in using a website called Gradescope. We'll have quizzes every week in class. And if you miss any quiz problem, you can improve your score by doing corrections and taking a reassessment where I'll give you a similar problem to work out. This is really designed to give you multiple opportunities to demonstrate your learning and improve your grade. I have six big tips on how to do well. The first is you want to aim to get a conceptual understanding. In high school, most math problems are designed so that you're able to solve them quickly. College math courses are a step up in terms of rigor because they focus more on understanding why things work. To build that skill, it's essential to get to spend more time thinking about problems, which will help in synthesizing the concepts and in recognizing which method to apply. The second tip is to start homework assignments early. Especially in a summer session course, we have to cover all the material we do during the semester, but in half the time. So that means there's a lot more work that we're doing per week. So I expect that you're going to be spreading that out over six days a week because engaging with the content a bit every day will help you better retain it and it'll help you avoid the situation where you'll have a ton of work to do all in one day. The third tip is to read the homework, as homework problems before you attend lectures. You can use that then to guide your note taking by writing down useful strategies and methods that you know are gonna show up on the problems. The fourth tip is try the problems on your own first. If you're stuck after about five minutes, that's when I want you to use our resources for help. In particular, avoid the temptation to look up answers online because the main goal of homework is to help you build your skills. And if you look up answers online, you're losing that opportunity and it's a violation of academic integrity. The fifth is use our resources for help. First of which is my office hours, which are an informal place where students can come in to work on homeworks and ask questions come up. I am there to help out. The second is the Student Learning Center, or SLC, has drop-in tutoring for our class, which is Mondays through Thursdays from 12 to 4 p.m. I actually got my start teaching as an SLC tutor, so I would highly recommend this resource. The third is ED Discussion, which is an online discussion forum where you can post questions anytime and other students in our class can help answer. And the fourth is your classmates. You'll have the opportunity to meet and work with your peers in class and hopefully also in SLC tutoring. But I would highly encourage you to use your classmates as a resource. The sixth tip is to maintain a growth mindset, which is something that we'll talk more about in our class. Basically, it's the belief that you can get better at something through the effort that you put in. No one is born just being good at math. It's something that we all put in the work to improve our skills in, including myself. You can do this. I am here and happy to help, and I am excited to work with you this summer. 